we have our hot bar up and running, and we can use health potions when the player's health isn't at maximum. But what about the weapons we're picking up here? How can we make the player use the weapon using the hot bar? And how can we do this without removing it from the inventory? This is what this tutorial will be about. This tutorial is an extension of my previous hotbar tutorials on creating a hotbar and how to use items from the hotbar. I hope you will try to solve any problems that might occur on your own, but if you need any help, then please consider joining the Megatech Discord server. The project files for this and my other tutorials are also available for some of the tiers and Patreon. And now let's get started. Okay, so first, let's remember how we got the player to use the life parts from the health bar. We have our inventory item, and then we extended the script to create a health item, which overrides the methods that was needed to make the player consume the life part and only do so when the player's health isn't full. Now, Let's do something similar for the weapons in our game. First we create a new script that inherits from inventory item. Then we add the methods we want to override. I think the player should always be able to use the weapon, so we don't need to override the can be used method, just the use method. Hmm, okay, what else do we need? Well, we need to know what weapon the player should use, of course. So let's create an exported packed scene variable. And by default, let's set this to preload the sort scene we already have in the player folder. Now, because we don't want to instantiate a new sort every time we want to use it, I also create a variable for the weapon itself. And then we can add an ini method where we instantiate the sort and store it in our new weapon variable. Before I forget, let's also give our new weapon item a class name. Okay, so the next thing is to update the resource for the sword item. Right now it's just an inventory item, but we want it to be a weapon item. So we can just make sure that we have the sword resource open, and then we can click and drag our new weapon item script into the script property here. Oh, and... Now we have to add the texture again. And finally, remember to save the sword resource again. Now let's go back to the weapon item script and add a breakpoint in the use method. So we can test that everything is set up correctly. We can then run the game, collect a sword, tap into it, and try to use it from the hotbar. This should break the game at our breakpoint. So now we know that this method will be called when we try to use the sword from the hotbar. Now it's time to add the weapon to the player. But if we go to the player scene, we can see that we already have the sword attached as a child of the weapon node. So let's first remove this and test again. Now, when we press the attack key, the player makes its attack animation, but it isn't using any weapon, and this is good. We then need a method for adding a new weapon to the player. So let's go to the script for the player's weapon node, and add a new method here for adding a new weapon. In our new method, we first check if a weapon is already added and if its name is the same of the new weapon's name. 
If this is the case, then we don't need to add the new weapon again, so we can just return. And here I also realize that we of course need another name for the input, otherwise we won't be able to compare it to the weapon variable that's already in the script. Okay, next if we need to add the new weapon, we first remove the weapon already attached if such exists. And then we update the weapon to be the new weapon and add this as a child of the node. This should add a new weapon to the player, but we still need to connect everything, so this method is called when we use a weapon item from the hotbar. So let's go back to our weapon item script and do this in the use method. Now let's test and see what happens. At first we don't have a weapon and the player looks kind of silly when it tries to attack. Then we can pick up a sword and press the use key. And now the player can attack using the sword. Only it's removed when we do this, so if we want to add more weapons and want to switch between these, then we're going to have a problem. But luckily this is easy to fix. First, open the inventory item script and add a new boolean variable that specifies if the item is consumable or not. I want my items to be consumable by default. Next we open the sort resource and uncheck the consumable property. And then remember we have to save the resource again. To check if an item is consumable or not, we locate the use item method in the player script. And then we only remove the last used item from the inventory if the item we used is a consumable. And now let's test again. Collect a sword and use it from the inventory. And then attack. Now the sword won't disappear from the inventory when we use it. Let's also pick up a life pot and test that this is still removed when we use it. And now we're finally able to use weapons from our hotbar. Uh, but wait, in my game the player's sword isn't actually hurting the enemies right now. I'm thinking that this is once again something that must be not set correctly in the collision masks and layers. It might be because we made a few changes to this in the last video. So let's go to the sort scene in the player folder. Then select the root node and make sure that it's on the collision layer for the player weapons. We could also set this in code, which would be useful if the same sort is going to be used by enemies as well. But for now this is fine. And now we have another bug that needs fixing. When we equip the weapon, it can kill an enemy before it's used the first time. Luckily, we have an easy fix for this. In the script for the player's weapon node, we just need to call the disable method at the end of our new add weapon method. And now the weapon will be disabled until it's used. And everything now works as it should. Finally, here's a few extra tips. I won't go too deep into how these works, but just give you an idea of how to add them. If you want the weapon to be attached when you tap into it in the hotbar, then we can add a new method in our inventory item script to handle this and then override this in the weapon item script.
We can then add a new method to the inventory model called tap into index and a new signal for equipping items, which we will emit when an item is being tapped into. This is then connected to a new equip method in the player scene. If you also want the weapon to detach when we tap away from it in the hotbar, then we should do the same for tapping out of an item to cancel the use of the item. And then, of course, we also need a method for removing the weapon in the weapon script. You might also want to attack using the hotbar's use key instead of a separate attack key. To do this, I'm assuming that we already have the previous setup, so the weapon is attached when it's tapped into in the hotbar. In the weapon item script, we should then just call the attack method on the player from the use method. And the player should then be able to attack using the sword if we have tapped into it in the hotbar and then press the hotbar's use key. And that's all for this video. If you want to see more like this, then remember to like, subscribe, hit the bell and all that. Bye!